Hi guys, welcome back to Engineers YouTube channel. My name is Patricia Bermudez and I'll be your host for today's video. So for today's video, we will be talking about entropy again, but this time we will, we will be focusing on bifunctional equations. So when we say um, bifunctional, we're talking about the change of something in terms of the change of two properties. Like for example, uh, entropy is actually a function of pressure, volume, and temperature. But let's say na yung temperature mas constant, pag nagbabari nag, nag yung pressure and volume, then yung change in entropy mo will be in terms of the change in um, pressure and volume. So, ganun ang idea behind by functional equations. So, you assume that the three, among the three, pressure, volume, and temperature, one is constant, and then the other two uh, change simultaneously. Okay? So, ang equations natin for change in entropy. First is that the change in entropy, when it is a function of temperature and volume, is equals to N C V L N T2 over T1 plus N R L N V2 over V1. So, you first assume that the, your, your um, volume is constant and then you measure the change in terms of the change in temperature. And then after that, you assume that the temperature is constant. Kaya you measure the change according to volume. Tapos you add them two. You add the two together. Okay? So, kaya present yung CV. Kasi you assume first the constant volume. And then after that, constant temperature naman. And then you add together. And then if your S is a function of, change in S is a function of temperature and pressure, then it is N. But Cp, Ln, T2 over T1 minus nr ln p2 over p1 and then lastly when your entropy is a function of pressure and volume then it becomes ncp ln um, v2 over v1 plus ncv um, ln p2 over p1 and if you notice here, sa lahat sa tatlong equation, yung ito lang yung special kasi negative yung nr mo, di ba? But the rest is positive. So, ang given natin here in our problem, okay, first, the problem asks, calculate the entropy change when organ at 25 degrees Celsius and one bar in a container of volume, 0.5 dm cubed, is allowed to expand to 1 dm cubed and is simultaneously heated to 100 degrees Celsius. So, ang given natin is, first, 25 degrees Celsius yung temperature. And then, yung pressure mo is 1 bar. And then, your volume is um, 0.5 dm cube. And then, it becomes, your temperature becomes um, 100, is heated to 100 degrees Celsius. And then, your volume changes to 1 dm cube. Wala naman tayong ibahin kasi pareho naman lahat ng mga units. No? And since walang um, P2 na given, we assume that P is constant. And since P is constant, your change in S is a function of P and V. And our equation for that, change in S, and our equation for that is as a function of T and V is NCV ln P2 over T1 plus NR ln V2 over V1. Okay? And now, Meron tayong uh, unknown value here that we still have to find. And that is the number of moles. And uh, we know that PV is equals to NRT. And we can find that using, we can find N using um, PV over RT. And ang kailangan natin here is pressure, volume, and temperature. And among these two, um, these, these two sets of values, ito yung kompleto, merong T, P, and V. So, we use these values to find N. Kasi yung number of moles mo in the system won't change naman. So, your N is constant. So, regardless of whether you use the values here or here, N should be constant. So, ang N natin is P, V is equals over R, T. N is equals to P, V over R, T. You know that your P uh, your P is 1 bar. It's 1 bar. And then your volume is 0 0.5 dm cube. And um, your um, temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. 
And for this one, we use R is equals to 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Okay, so we substitute that. We have N is equals to 8, uh, sorry, 1 bar. Um, times your volume, which is 0 0.5 BM cube over R natin, which is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And then your temperature, we convert that into Kelvin because over Kelvin to, so 25 plus 273.15 Kelvin. But we see na inconsistent ang units. You can cancel off joules with bar BM cube. So we have to convert this to. Okay? And we know that one bar is equals to 10 raised to 5 pascals. And one dm cube is equal to um one one dm cube times goes to one dm cube. Multiply by a conversion factor, which is what 10 dm is equals to 1 meter. And we cube that para again meter cube siya. So it becomes 1 dm cube is equals to 1 over 1000 meter cube, which is equals also equal to 0 0.001 meter cube. Then we sub, we add this, we um conversion, we add this conversion factors here para maging, para makancel natin yung joules. So yung n natin is 1 bar. And then it is equal to 10 raised to 5 Pascal. And then 0 0.5 BM cube is equal to 0 0.001 meter cube. And then over 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin times 25 plus 273.15 Kelvin. And we also know that Pascal meter cube is equals to Joule. Okay, calculating this, we have 10 is to 5, 0 0.5 times 0 0.001 times 8.314 times 25 plus 273.15. Our number of moles not an I equal to 0 0.020170895080 mole and you can see na matitira yung mole talaga cancel ang bar makancel ang dm cube and here makakancel ang kelvin and we know that joules is equals to pascal meter cubes makakancel din siya ang matitira ay mole and since nasa denominator siya ng denominator, magpupunta siya sa numerator. So, yan ang ating value for N. And now, we just have to substitute to the equation that we are going to use. So, delta S is equal to a function of temperature and volume, which is equal to NR, NCP, NCV, sorry, LN, T2 over T1, plus NR, LN, V2 over V1. And we know that our N is 0 0.02017089508 mole. And um, um, T2 natin is 100 degrees Celsius. And we have to convert this into Kelvin because we're talking about the ratios. Because it's in a fraction. So we cannot use temperatures that are, not, that are not absolute. And Celsius is not an absolute temperature. So you have to convert it into Kelvin. So 100 plus 273.15 is 373.15 Kelvin. And then we know that T1 is equal to um, 25 degrees Celsius. And adding 273.15 to that, it becomes... 298.15 Kelvin. And then, um, CV. We know that argon is a monoatomic gas, right? So, CV for monoatomic is equals to 3 over 2 R. Okay? 
And ang R natin is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And our, T our V2 is 1 dm cube. And ang V1 is 0 0.5 dm cube. So we just substitute all these values here. So ang delta S natin will become I did not think you factor yung n. So it's just 0 0.020170089508 mole. That's my own bracket. CV, which is 3 over 2. Um, 3 over 2. Then yung R natin is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. Tapos LN of 373. 0.15 Kelvin over 298. 298.15 Kelvin. And then you add R, kasi na factor naman yung N, so 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And then LN of um, 1 dm cube over 0 0.5 dm cube. Okay, so we know that other units inside the LN should cancel off each other here. Dm cube maka cancel din siya. And then here, maka cancel yung mole. Ang uh, matitira nating unit ay joules per Kelvin, and that is our unit for entropy. So tama ang nakuha nating um, equation here. So multiplying that, we have over 2 times 8.314. And ang change in entropy natin is 0 0.0.172683651 joules per oh, joules per Kelvin, sorry. So that is our solution for the problem. And if let's say your question asks for the change in um the change in entropy in terms of pressure and volume, then you just use this equation. And if um the question asks for the change in entropy in terms of change in temperature and pressure, then you use this you use this equation. Okay. So and you just follow the same steps, especially when your number of moles is not given. You just have to find that first and then substitute the remaining values to the equation. So yes, this is our solution for the problem. I hope you learned a lot from today's video. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.